Well, I was asked to go out and assist a police officer in Detroit uh, with one dog that um, was supposed to be stray and injured. And uh, when we got there, we saw numerous dogs that were um, stray dogs that had been left behind by their families and uh, were strays and they all looked bad, looked no, very, uh, you know, malnourished and stuff. And so right then I decided we were going to start a street crew. Before Detroit Pit Crew, uh, well, my husband and I moved here from New Jersey. So, um, you know, I'd volunteered at different uh, types of organizations and things. And I actually owned a business in Virginia before I, I moved uh, to New Jersey. So we utilize a veterinary hospital as a shelter. And so when we pick up a dog off the streets of Detroit, especially one that's very injured, you know, we get dogs that are shot, hit by cars, um, used for bait. We have a place where we can take them immediately. So um, during the office hours for Centerline, we drive, we let them know, hey, we picked up a dog, it's injured, we're bringing it in and so then we bring the dog in and they they treat the dog and we try to save the dog if you know the dog isn't um, too far gone and so we do have a good partnership with Centerline Vet. Uh, we received a call from somebody in Detroit and she said that she saw a dog walking around that had looked like it had three legs that the she thought the leg had fallen off and so we went to Detroit and um, we uh, went into this backyard and we did see the dog and it turned out that the owner had let a like, tie out get wrapped around the dog's leg and had, had not removed it. And it actually, um, the dog had was forced to chew her own leg off. We brought that dog into Centerline and um, she was treated, just a wonderful, lovely dog. And that was one dog that got adopted through our organization and is living the most wonderful life with a family that absolutely loves her. I would say one of the most rewarding things is seeing the dogs get into their forever home and know that now they're being loved and properly cared for. This year so far, we've saved 366 dogs. I think that if you see something, you should say something. And I think also, you know, it's very important if you see a dog being abused um, to get it on video. If you have a video of a dog being injured or a cat or, or what any type of pet, um, you know, that really is a lot of proof. And it's it, it helps us be able to remove animals out of bad situations. I hope that the future holds us saving a lot more dogs and, and changing a mindset that's um, been in Detroit for a long time. You know, I, I hope that the future holds us not seeing dogs on chains anymore, not seeing dogs dying on the streets of Detroit, not seeing people just dis discard animals um, out on the streets. I hope that um, you know other people around uh, the world understand that these animals, they're more than just an object. They're more than just um, you know a piece of property to put in your backyard and put on a chain that'll bark if somebody enters your property. That that to us, these animals have feelings and they and they make the difference in the lives of numerous people. That these these pets have something to offer. You know they are the most loyal, wonderful um, animal ever, and they're voiceless. And I hope that other people around the world will speak for these voiceless animals that need help and value them the way that we value them.